What up YouTubers and welcome to Redstone Tutorials Part 3. In this episode I'm going to show you how to construct some simple and not so simple locks. However, first we need to learn how to do a door trick. So if we have a door here, normally it opens on a powered and closes on unpowered, which is good for a lot of purposes. However, if you've got this elaborate lock, someone wants to get in, he just goes, oh look, puts a redstone torch right there and walks right through. So, we can change this. We've placed this door, so we destroy the two blocks adjacent, and instead, do this. Work, look at it from the side. So then, some, it's closed. Some idiot comes and puts a redstone torch right here, the door remains closed because it is now closed on a powered signal rather than an unpowered signal. Useful little trick for locks. Let's finish this frame and then we can get onto the lock. First lock I'm going to show you how to build is a simple uh, nor lock or a combination lock. It's going to be four digits. Start with one here. Put a uh, lever there, lever there, lever there. Need two more rows. Okay, so you need to decide which ones you want on. For this tutorial, I'm gonna do one, zero, one, zero. So, on any torch that needs to be off, you need to put a block behind it. And the torch is uh, not the levers right here. You can put a block behind it. For any torch that's supposed to be on, put a redstone torch. For any lever that's supposed to be on, I apologize. So the object is to get all of these inputs off. So basically all we do here is we then wire the redstone in. So now if we do one zero one zero one, zero, one, zero, the door will open. And anything different will of course change it. Due to the lack of circuitry, uh, it's actually an extremely fast lock. The way this works, we have this door powered by an on signal. So the object is to get all of these off. These need to be on to turn these torches off, whereas these need to be off so that it doesn't apply power. And pretty simple, uh, you can change the code if you want, as simple as placing an extra torch or placing an extra block. But four bits isn't terribly secure. And in order to have more and more and more and more and more bits, you gotta keep going out this way. But there is a way to compact this. We can place We can have it significantly more complicated if we put more, four more torches down here. Three more torches, I guess. And now we'll build another here, right here. No, oh, levers, I, I apologize, not torches, levers, Ag. Wow, I'm doing horribly today. So, but you may be asking, okay, yes, so we can connect this, but then, oh no. Especially if you want to have different codes and stuff. Well, actually, no, wait, this may work. So choose your code you want. We're gonna do one zero one zero one zero one zero. One zero one zero one zero one zero. Okay, on anything that needs it place a block. I guess we're just making all the bottom ones on. Okay, you know what? We'll mix it up a little bit. One, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. So we want one, one, zero, one, one, zero, no, I'm sorry, one, one, zero, one, zero. So we don't want that there.
We want that there. Bring this down here. Want that there. And that and that and that. So that should be sufficient. We want one, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. And there we go. They're all off. Uh, like I said, this is actually a very simple rock, law lock. If you want it a little bit more organized, you can actually isolate each input, and you'll need to do that if you want more than two layers. So if we may instead make a three layer lock here, which is actually a lot of fun. I've used this method and built a 16-bit lock, which becomes a total of 65,536 possible combinations. Right here, this is an 8-bit lock. This has 256 combinations. So we'll add another floor up here. And this time, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We want to build a bunch of different rows. Two, uh, three long, I believe. And we need to decide on a code. So we're going to do one, zero, one, 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 one. And then we'll do one, one, zero, zero. And we'll do zero, zero, one, zero. I'm writing all these down so I don't forget. <laughs> So we need to do these little thingies, build um, those. Oh no, I'm out of stone. And those, you only want two. Two is of course the minimum you can have because you need a torch. Well, no, yeah, these ones you only want two. And for every layer on you'll add, you'll actually have to, this will have to go out further and further and further. And eventually you'll have to start using repeaters because of the 15 length cap. So anyways, we wanted one, so we'll put a torch here. Zero, no torch there. One, one. And then way back up in here, we wanted one, one, zero, zero. And then down here, which I believe we'll have to break some stuff. We want a zero, zero, one, zero. So then we just basically pull some wires out. These ones, if they don't have a torch, connect them all the way in. And remember, if that powers accidentally, it doesn't matter because eventually everything will be off. Let's just wire this all up. Do 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 do. This will pop all the way in there. Need to get a redstone wire in there. There's a torch in there, and there we go. Okay, and you just wire this all up like this. And now everything is wired into here, and we just drag the wire out, and power the door. And then just as a double check, count the longest, the longest one, anyone on this side. Make sure it's not more than 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so that torch now has absolutely no bearing. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to smack a repeater right there and boom, works again. So we decided on 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's hope I actually wired this thing up right. Zero, 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 one, zero. There we go. Everything is now off. And then anything, any lever different changes it. You can hear the door. I like to do this because then it makes then I make sure that it has to be this absolute combination. Yep, and so now you have a 
12-bit lock, which off the top of my head, I'm not quite sure what that is. This, I think, is somewhere around 32,000 possible combinations, but I know not. That's a, uh, oh, hey, look. Wow, we've been spending a little while on this. All right, time day. Okay, so anyway, we've got a pretty good lock here. Um, I'm gonna measure this one. Uh, if you against the next one, I'm gonna show you how to build. If you just had a row of four, so a single row of four torches. I mean, pff, ah, four levers is 16 possible combinations because there's two here times two here, which is four times two here, which is eight times two here, which is 16, and only one of the 16 opens the door. 